Aloha, everyone. Aloha. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. This is Doc Rock, your community manager. And today I wanted to show you a little something, something. Uh, yesterday, I did a breakdown of how to use Captivate FM because Katie and I are launching a brand new show called The Flow. And we basically set up our account in Captivate FM to get it ready to go. Now, I currently use Captivate FM for my podcast. So I know some of this stuff, but I did make some changes for this podcast, things I should have done right the first time when I said of mine. So anyway, um, in order to do more of the stuff than what we did yesterday, if you didn't see yesterday's stream, it's in here, you can find it. Um, I needed to produce a promo episode. So I actually had a promo because we have a promo that's currently running on YouTube right now. So I just took the audio from that particular promo and then I stripped it. Um, I personally have a shortcut that I made for Apple shortcuts that strips that file. And then I uploaded it to Alphonic. And then I was like, well, that's dumb. The promo video itself is so short. I just uploaded the whole video to Alphonic.com. And then I had Alphonic spit out a MP3 file that was properly set up for what I needed it to do, right? Um, so I'll show you this real quick because it's kind of simple. And um, from there, let me see if I can pull this up. This is what it looked like when it was done. It didn't do a lot of changes because it was already properly EQ'd. But uh, let me see if I can duplicate this. And then edit. Nope, not going to work that way. Uh, boom, here, edit production. Here we go. That'll work. Give you an idea of what we did with this bad boy. All right, so... I have a preset, the preset is called the flow. So I basically put my file, I already uploaded the file, not gonna do it again. Uh, then I have my image there, it's already set up. I add my cover image, put in my subtitle for the show, have the artist, ECAM Network, the album name, the flow podcast. This is track zero because this is a promo episode, right? So on the genre, I put podcast year 2022, publisher ECAM Network. The URL for the site is gonna be flow.ecam.com license 2022 add my description put in my tags the main thing i did here was i select mp3 and not variable bitrate podcast aggregators hate when you use variable bitrate so i put mp3 i use 320 because hey i like it to sound good you don't have to do suffix i just did that for myself and now that i realize i'm here let me fix something i want to add the extra underscore when in case i do use it select my output ending as mp3 the key stuff that I did, run the adaptive leveler. Why do you do that? Because Katie and I have different voices. I'm loud AF and she's not. <laughs> so I do adaptive leveler, loudness normalization. That gets us at the loudness target that podcasts want, which is negative 16 loudness under full scale. L-U-F-S stands for loudness under full scale. That means when the volume is set at a particular K weight, the individuals will sound even at that volume, not one person sound low, one person sound high. So it attempts to sort of even out that flow. <laughs> Funny I said that, that's the name of the show. I added some basic filtering, which is high pass filtering, uh, because of, again, I have a deep voice, she doesn't, it kind of evens us out a little bit. And then I didn't need noise and hum reduction because we both have relatively quiet studios. So. If you can avoid it, never press this button because it can make you sound underwater. Okay, so once I did that, I pressed the start to production. It gener it uploaded the video file, pulled out the audio, fixed it, sent it back to me as an MP3. I download that, and from that, I am ready to go. Okay, so here's what I did next. I pop over into my Captivate dashboard and I uploaded the episode. There's the episode, it's already there, it's already published. 
but just to show you what it looks like in the published thing, you put your MP3 file here, it'll upload it, it comes here, and then you have a place to put your title, your description, and of course I put episode zero season one, and then I marked it as a trailer. Uh, we didn't use any bad words. And then I have my transcription file. And he's like, well, where'd you get the transcription file from, Doc? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I did something which, of course, I always tell you guys, this is my favorite tool in the world. I use Descript. So in Descript, I dropped the audio file on here. It automatically generated all of this. I had a couple places where I had to fix when it's me talking versus Katie, um, just due to the fact that we stepped over each other while we were talking, if that makes sense. That means as I was finishing a line, Katie was starting a line. And so there was a little, but it was very easy to fix in the script. And so that generated this whole little bad boy here. So when you do that, all you do is publish this to a website and then it publishes to this Descript website. And from here, it can automatically send it ready to rock to captivate. So there's that. Da -da -da -da. So once I got that there, there's my captivate. There's my SRT file, um, which basically states that I have a transcript. I didn't have any guests and didn't need to do anything else here. Added a, a episode title, hit publish. So once I hit publish, boom, my episode is there and it's already running. Now, now that we published the first episode, we can go in and do the distribution. So let me show you that real quick. Uh, where can I get a share button on my FB Live? When I put the share widget Ecamm, I, I don't understand the question, Jason. What do you mean, where's the share button on your, it's on Facebook. <laughs> That's, uh, I think, I think, I think I know what you're talking about. It's just on Facebook. That, that has nothing to do with us. Uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Let me go to my Facebook page and I'll show you how to share. Um, while I'm explaining this to you, I'm gonna tell you something, a highly unpopular piece of information. Don't stream live to Facebook unless you have to. <laughs> I have to in this particular case because this is where our community is, but honestly, Facebook streaming sucks terribly. Okay, let me show you. Okay, right here, there's the share button. You just share and you copy the link, and then you come over here, and then you paste the link, that's it. That's the only share button that you need. I'm curious what other share button you're speaking about. Let me know if that's not it. Uh, the other ones you, you might possibly be talking about is in the bottom of your comments. Oh, got it, got it, got it. That's a good answer. Well. That's how you make money, knock yourself out. Uh, the, you know what it is, Jason? The Facebook experience is hot trash. Uh, YouTube experience is so much better. And yeah, we just, last two years ago, I got so sick of Facebook, I told my community, guys, we're going to YouTube. It took about three weeks for everybody to come over and now they're all super happy because the number one thing that YouTube can do that Facebook can't do is if they're watching on mobile, YouTube can play in the background and Facebook can't. So if they're watching on mobile and they get a text message or they need to send an email or whatever, they can put me in the background and I'm still going while they answer their email or do their work or whatever. And many of my users are watching from work, trying to figure out how to get rid of their job and do this job. <laughs> so yeah, um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, so now we got it. Dun, 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 dun. Let me come back over to Captivate. So my episode is there, but we need to do the distribution. Okay, so if you scroll down on the side over here in Captivate, there is an area here that says distribute, right? So we want to press that. And then it's going to say, hey, podcast distribution. You can copy your RSS feed just in case you need it. If you want to see what it looks like, this is what it looks like right now. And then I'm going to come over here and you're going to start your submission process. Now, it, you can individually go by here and press all of these bad boys to do one at a time, right? One of the cool things to me is that Captivate has this submit your podcast 
all one-click distribution outlets by just pressing this button. So we're going to press that. Country of origin, U.S. and day. I have read and agreed to Amazon license things. I'm just going to click it for S and G's so that way it sometimes they don't let you do it until you do it. So I just did it by pressing this button. We are going to send it to Spotify, Amazon music, Ghana, never heard of geo savant, whatever podcast index, important Deezer. Yes. Player FM. Yes. And boom play. So let's press this one right here and take care of all of these in one fail swoop. Those guys is all good in the hood, right? Those are easy. So you'll notice podcast approved on Amazon, podcast approved, podcast approved, podcast approved, approved, and Stitcher Radio, you got to submit. Radio Public, you got to submit. Tune in, you got to submit. But Boom Play is good in Pocket Cast. So let's go over to the granddaddy and start an Apple submission. Uh, oh, I got to make a new, never mind Apple. I got to go make an Ecamm account for that, but I will. Anyway, the Apple one is super simple, but I have to go make an account. So I won't bore you with the details of that. That takes a minute. Let me try the googly one. Oh, this is from my other one. And verify the new feed. Boom. I don't want to do that. Okay, this one also, Google is going to require me to go make an Ecamm account, which I will. Let me try uh, Stitcher. See, it's funny because I have I have all of these already <laughs> because of my other show. So let me do it this way. Paste in that feed. Next. Checking the technical mumbo jumbo. Confirm that is moi. I mean, not like none of them. Don't see my show. Yes, that is us. Okay, we'll send an authorization request email. And then once I answer that email, we'll get it there. So I'll do Ecamm Networky. Put the email address that I want to use and just be like, yep, we, we missed us a thingy here and then use the generated password. All right. Save that. And then sign them up. Tee -hoo. Agree. It's going to take a minute. There we go. So now it's going to go ahead and add the new show for the podcast. So it's in there. This one to be good to go. It'll take a minute. Once everything starts up and the, the podcast hit, it has a chance to like aggregate itself. It'll all show up in here. Um, we don't need to do this yet. And then when you're ready to promote, you can promote. So this one squared away. I'm going to just have to go back and approve that. But it's basically done. In, in other words, I just got to go back and answer the, the email. But as you can see, this is really simple. The main thing is you have to go and make yourself a connect account for Apple. I have one, but I don't think I should connect this show to my personal one because this is an Ecamm show. Same with the Google podcast, but I'll go set those up real quick on the fly. But setting up distribution is easy. I like the fact that you can do a bunch of them just with a single button press. The rest of them, they're normally just answering quick questions like I showed you. It doesn't take an awful lot. It is really simple. But now that it's cool, you'll see that we got everything set up. And next thing I'll do is go in here and play around with designing the podcast player because, you know, we already have everything set up there. And then the RSS feed is there. We can have sharing options for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, all of the above. If we want to have special branding, we can do all of that. I'll save the changes for that for now. Um, but it's real cool. And then when you want to do static embeds, you can just grab these and paste them on your sites or whatever. 
if you have. But yeah, this stuff is so cool. It's so simple. I really love how they put everything together. The website is still propagating through the uh, RSS, not the RSS, I take it back. Um, what do you call that thing? The HTTPS, that's still propagating. So that's gonna take a little bit longer before it finally catches so that you can just go to the site. Um, if you're using Chrome, it won't work until it finishes processing. But on Safari, if you were to go to flow.ecam.com, you will see the first episode and the player. And then I'll start tweaking out on the website probably tomorrow because it's uh, past lunchtime over here. It's 2 p.m. in Honolulu, and I ain't eat yet. <laughs> so we're going to go handle that. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to think you how it works. Anyway, let me answer your question. Jason says, uh, where do you say? Can you plug a mixer in the eCam? I have three right now. Yes, absolutely. Um, you shouldn't use, e uh, I'm gonna say this meanly. Everybody's gonna get mad at me for saying this, but I wouldn't use Ecamm without a mixer. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I'm not that kind of people. Uh, does this work yet? No. Uh, do you wanna work? I'm still here. I'm just trying to see. My, uh, my phone absolutely hates my camera. Oh, wait, I just realized something. I'm dumb. I have my overhead shot still on the air. Look, mixer plugged in the ecam. <laughs> yes, do it all the time. This is the only way to fly. Um, so I have my mixer right there. Um, I've used it with. I have my other mixer, Tascam Mixcast Four. I've used the Allen and Heath Z12X. Uh, I have the Rodecaster One. Uh, Scarlet used it with Scarlet before. Used it with a. Uh, uh, Evo, Auden Evo 4. So yeah, you can basically use it with whatever you need. Ooh, look. Oh, you can still see my mixer over here too. <laughs> I was just getting ready to connect up my iPhone so you can see the camera, but I forgot I have my overhead camera already set up. So absolutely, Jason, you can plug in a mixer. Boom. Let's see. Who said, how are you, buddy? I can't tell. Oh man, we have so many people, Jason, that use this for church. We actually have a community just for the faith based, the faith based Kim folks that use Ecamm. Oh, I know where that comment came from. That came from the other side. Yep, that it was. That was Rob and there's Carlos. What's up, Carlos? What's up, Felicia? How are you doing? I saw your um moment. The the mist filter on the moment. Very, very nice. I like ye. I like ye. Super cool stuff. Let's see if we have any more questions. All right, gang, that's it. I just want to do a quick one just to show you how to set up your distribution. And now I get to go eat and come back and make Apple Connect accounts for Ecamm. <laughs> it's just easy. It's easy stuff, man. But uh, if you want to, we do know that with the ones I showed you already, the podcast is functioning. Uh, what I didn't check was Spotify. That would be an important one to put. Any mini, catch a mini. Oh, so I think Spotify was first. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Dun, dun, dun. Spotify says it was all part of one click. So Spotify is pending approval. It's normally Spotify is probably waiting for me to check an email and click something. But the it should already be available in. Amazon. So if somebody wanted to go to check Amazon podcast and look up the flow by Ecamm, it probably already exists there because Amazon's quick like that. Let's try Amazon podcast. Let's see if it already caught. Audible.
Amazon Music Podcast now streaming. And let's see. Listen now. And then let's search. No, I don't need to do that. Let's search. Hey, the Hive Podcast, that's uh, Jared. <laughs> Man, look at all these people that made podcasts about Ecamm. I just wanted to know what happened if I typed that. Sorry. I do weird Google Foo's, Google Flu, Google Foo sidetracks. Getting music, but I only wanted to search podcasts. I guess you can't do that, can you? Dang, Amazon, you sucks. Ah, not going to work. I wonder if you can grab the link from here. No, you can't. Now I got to go hunt how they did it. That's funny. Anyway, if you put in this feed to Amazon, it'll definitely work in theory. Nope. I don't know how to do Amazon. I guess I don't listen to podcasts with Amazon, so... That's what I get for trying to be cool. Me definitely not looking here. Uh, nope, not yet. All right, it was worth a shot. I tried. I thought I was cool. Can I show you how? Absolutely. It's going to take all of two seconds. You take your mixer. <laughs> I got, I'll just do it from top to none. It, it takes an entire two seconds. This is my mixer, right? On the back of my mixer, I'm going to take USB cable and plug it in. That's it. I'm connected to Ecamm. That is the entire setup. <laughs> for pretty much every mixer on the planet. Take the USB cable, plug it in. Once you plug it in, you're going to come here and do one of these. In Ecamm, your mixer is going to show up in this list. And as you can tell, I have a lot of audio devices. But I'm right now using the Rodecaster Pro, so all I do is select this. But I got all kinds of oriented things I can connect in here. But the entire connection is literally plug your mixer in and then call it a day and if it doesn't connect that will be your mixer company because pretty much we have everything from like myriad mixers in the building if you have an old school analog mixer without a usb you can buy yourself something like a a, any standard issue two channel mixer like a Bar Behringer, Euphoric, or Scarlet, or whatever, and you take the two XLR out of your old school analog mixer and you bring them into the the USB interface, plug those two in left and right, and then you're good to go. I would strongly suggest if you have an old analog mixer. Uh, get rid of it because every mixer on the planet now has USB built in. So there's no reason to use an old mixer. None at all. Zero. Okay, I'm looking. I see X32. I don't see X30. But let's see. Beringer X30. 
Oh, that's it's a it's a Beringer. Let's see. It's only showing me X32, so how old is an X30? Come on, can you be? Uh, these are all X32s. I don't see an X30, so I can't help you. Hey, this looks like my Allen and Heath, but it's a 12. No, these are all X30s. Oh, it is a 32. Oh, man. <laughs> Why are you making my life hard? <laughs> uh, la, da, da, da. Look at the back of this bad boy. Sweet water. Go away. Sweetwater so we always trying to sell me something. There it is, USB. Just plug it in. That's all you gotta do. It says USB audio interface. You plug it in, it will show up in Ecamm. End the story. You're only going to get left and right stereo out out of it, probably, but that's it. Just plug it in. Depending on how old it is. Like, I mean, well, the fact that it has a gigantic USB 2 thing on it means it's an older mixer um, because we passed that USB eons ago. But that doesn't make it bad because we only need USB 2 for audio. You're going to plug it in and it's going to show up as left and right out so everything you throw at it will work. Um, some of the mixers, there is a way to go in and so in this particular case, if you look at the last two channels, the last two channels are actually, this is, can't be that old. This is probably relatively new. Um, I don't know why they didn't put a USB C on there, but that's okay. That's irrelevant. A lot of the manufacturers do crap like that. So normally what will happen is it'll have like 16 real faders and then channel 17 and 18 will normally be the bus out that covers all the rest of the faders as a group. But because you have this panel right here, you can go in and build all kinds of sub mixes. And you know, that's above and beyond the scope to probably just about everybody in the Ecamm community, except for about four or five people. But main thing is if you plug it in, you will get a stereo out directly to Ecamm and it's the stereo out to your Mac. Ecamm doesn't care about it. Like your Mac will read it as the left and right pair of your mixer. You're just gonna need a like a 16, 17 foot USB cable probably. <laughs> but that's easy because those older USB cables are easy to find because nobody really uses them nowadays. Easy stuff. Okay, gang. Appreciate y'all for hanging out today. And then uh we'll see you. Time to go eat. Chee-hoo!